Ladies and gents, back here again, and this time I'm here with my Manchester United season predictions. You've already watched my Premier League season predictions, and you know where I think Man United will finish in the league. But what about the Champions League, the FA Cup, the League Cup? Top scorer? Who's going to be our player of the year? Who's going to be the most improved player? I'm going to run through all my predictions for what I think is going to happen to Manchester United in every single way this season. Before I do begin, please drop a like on the video if you're enjoying these new short videos are back on United People's TV by popular request. Two a week at the moment. Maybe we'll get more. Tell you what, the season's just around the corner and there's a lot of excitement about where United will finish in the league this year. We finished second last year. And you would have watched my Premier League season predictions. I think we're going to finish second again. I don't know why I'm... I, mean, I do know why I'm saying that. Man City are just a better team. Manchester City were a better team last year. They've signed Jack Grealish. Maybe they're going to sign Harry Kane as well. We have a lot of money, but we want Alexis Sanchez. Yeah, we could not afford it. We want Harry Maguire. And we couldn't afford it. We could not pay like United pay. And it's going to be tough for United in the league this year, man. You know, we're definitely improved. On the team we had last year, we've then gone out and signed Rafael Varane. Gone out... And we signed Jaden Sancho, fingers crossed. We get defensive midfielder in there too. And if we win, if we do get that, we are absolutely our title contenders. But I think City will just have too much. I don't think it'll be a runaway like it was last year. I think it'll be a much closer fight. But I think when it comes push comes to shove, I think City will have just enough to win the league. It's my opinion, and that's where I think United will finish in the league this year. I think we'll finish in second place. What about the Champions League though? I think we can all agree that the favourites for the Champions League this year are PSG. They've gone out and they've signed the most ridiculous players ever on free transfers. Donnarumma, Ramos, Wijnaldum and Lionel Messi. And they've got Hakimi as well from Inter. PSG are clearly favourite. Manchester United in the Champions League. We've had our moments under Solskjaer, but they've only been individual moments. Obviously, his greatest moment as a Manchester United player came in the Champions League. And there's going to be... A certain strength to United in the Champions League this year, thanks to Rafael Varane that we didn't have last year. Well, was it last year? Was it year before? I can't remember. Europa League, we got knocked out in the group stage last year, didn't we? Yeah, Manchester United got Rafael Varane. That does change the scope of things in the Champions League. He's a four-time winner. My, I'm backing us to get to the quarterfinals here. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I don't think United have got anywhere near the quality to compete compete in the Premier League and the Champions League to win both of them and win the double like we did back in 2007-8. Treble like we did back in 99. Squad isn't quite there yet, but we should have enough quality to switch players in and out on a Wednesday or a Tuesday and then go back on the game on the Saturday or the Sunday. We should be able to, Solskjaer should be able to rotate his squad and keep his team fresh. We need that freshness in this team to compete in Europe and the Premier League. I'm backing us to get to the quarterfinals. That comes back around in about March time. I think by that point, we're really going to be focused on the Premier League. We should still be in with a push for it, but that's my prediction. I'm guessing second in the Premier League and I'm guessing Champions League quarterfinals. Certainly a bit of progress on where it was last time in terms of where we went in the Champions League. Second, would that be a disappointment? You let me know. But moving on to the cup competitions domestically, I think this is where we're going to see a bit of a difference. And I think this is where we're going to see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first piece of silverware as United's manager. Obviously, we lost the Europa League final last year. I think we're going to win the League Cup. And the League Cup comes at a point where it's early in the season and it can have an effect. It can have a certainly a positive lift on Manchester United. And I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is really going to go for that. And I'm expecting to see some like Jose Mourinho style strong starting 11s in the League Cup. I think it will see it as a chance to really bury it. Done. Get the get that first trophy. It's so important. And I actually am back in United. Again, this might be wrong, but hey, this is what predictions are. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But I'm backing us to do a domestic double. I'm back in United to, well, not that domestic double, domestic cup double. League Cup and FA Cup. I'm back in United to win both. I think in the cup competitions, we've got enough strength in depth now this season that we can actually rotate properly and we can see the likes of Fred and McTominay playing in a cup competition rather than playing every week in the Premier League. Of course, that might depend on whether or not we actually sign a holding midfielder, which has been the biggest priority for me at Manchester United for a long time. It hasn't been addressed yet. Hopefully by the time this video goes out, which is very unlikely, uh, we sign one. It is what it is. But I think United have, have, have got enough quality in this team. Obviously, certainly with Varane that's come in and Sancho, that's, that they, we can now have a much stronger second 11 because when you took our first players out of the first team last season it almost looked like two different teams one was Manchester United and one wasn't but for me I'm back in United to win the League Cup and I'm back in United to win the FA Cup I think we'll fall short in the Champions League but we'll stay competitive in the Premier League right until the end I don't think City will run away with it and that's what I think in terms of the competitions but in terms of individual player awards this will be interesting and this I suppose will be a place where there's lots of debate in the comments but 
Who will be our top goal scorer next season? We've got Ennis and Cavani there. Rashford's going to miss three months. So unless he goes on an absolutely ridiculous run, you can basically rule Rashford out. Martial, he was crap the season before. Could Greenwood come in? They all could, but I think Bruno Fernandes is going to be our top scorer this season. I think Bruno Fernandes, I don't think, I know Bruno Fernandes is the best signing that we've made post-Fergie. He's one of the best signings we've made in the modern history of our football club. Bruno Fernandes has, has, has dragged Manchester United off the floor, given us CPR and brought us back to where we are now, to the point where... Jaden Sancho really wants to join and has joined. Rafael wants to join and has joined. I don't think either of those two transfers would be possible if it wasn't for Bruno Fernandes. Cracking free kick in the preseason against Everton. I think he's going to be bang up for it this season. And he was fantastic last year. Did he get over 30 goals? 30 goals and assists in all competitions? His goal and assist output really truly is outrageous. It is outrageous. He is an outrageously good player. And I don't expect there to be a drop-off from Bruno this year. If anything, I expect him to get even stronger. Because of the players he's got around him now, he's like, okay, well, bro, we've actually got a chance here. And that will make Bruno play even better. And for me, I'm backing him as our top scorer. I think Mason Greenwood, we're going to see him get like 10-15 this season. He'll get double figures. Cavani should get double figures. And Martial should get double figures. I don't think we'll really struggle for goal scoring. And of course, we throw in Jadon Sancho as well. I haven't even spoken about him until now. Because I'm putting him down as going to be the top assist this season. I cannot wait to see Jadon Sancho in action for Manchester United. To actually see a true right winger play on the right wing for Manchester United. For I can't remember how long our attack has been imbalanced. Unbalanced, imbalanced. Out of sync. Heavily reliant on going down the left. It's why Rashford has burnt out so much. Maybe we're taken away from Martial's game. Maybe we're taken away from Dan James's game. But we burned Rashford out by playing down the left too often. And it made us very predictable to defend against. All you've got to do is double up on Rashford and United have no chance because we don't have an outlet on the right-hand side. That all changes with Sancho. With the runs in behind that he makes, the fact that Pop is now probably going to be staying at Manchester United because Messi's going PSG and hopefully he signs a new contract. Bruno's there. Sancho is going to get so many opportunities with runs in behind. And as long as we've got Greenwood playing, Cavani's got, he's a fox in the box, man. He's the person that will be on the end of those balls coming in from Sancho. And for me, I'm putting Sancho down as top assists. I can't wait to see the sort of dimension that he brings to our attack that we just haven't had without him. Very predictable. When we're good though, we're great. Turns out predictability, you do it very well. It's a bit like Iron Robin. You knew he was going to cut in on his, his left-hand side, but if you did it properly, you couldn't stop him. I think United are going to be so much better shaped as a football team with Jadon Sancho in. So I'm backing Bruno as our top scorer next season, and I'm backing Jadon Sancho as our top assists. You let me know who you would choose in both of those positions. Now, moving on to a couple more, not just different predictions, in terms of who I think is going to be the player of the year. Again, I personally do not think that I can look past, or you can look past Bruno Fernandes. In terms of, of the centrepiece of everything that Manchester United will do next year, will quite literally be Bruno Fernandes in the centre, but he's just a focal point. He's the heartbeat. He's the oil. He's, the, he's everything to this team and this engine. Bruno makes it tick. Bruno is the cog that we cannot survive without. And I think if we have any sort of measure of success next season, I'm backing us to do a, a domestic cup double, league and, league and FA Cup. I think Bruno Fernandes is going to be at the, at the centre of all of that. Penalties are obviously his, a massive part of his game. And I know people try and, from other fan clubs anyway, fans of other clubs, maybe fan clubs, they try and slate him as our Bruno Fernandes. Cool. Yeah, right. You, you find me another penalty taker that's like buried 23 out of his last 24 penalties. The guy is so consistent. Uh, so what is a very incred incredibly dif difficult and high pressured situation and more for it. And we've got Sancho. We'll be probably getting more penalties next season because Sancho is going to be making so many problems for defenders. Me, I'm back in Bruno as our player of the year. I think Rafael Varane is probably the player who's going to come in and make the most impact as much as I'm bigging up Jadon Sancho. Yeah, Jadon Sancho is going to bring in so much to that right-hand side of our attack, but Varane's going to really change the whole shape of our team, of our build-up play. And our build-up play was probably our biggest flaw last season in terms of what happens when the ball, when our defenders re receive the ball from De Gea or Henderson, what do they do at that point? That point there between our defence and getting towards our attack was our poorest part of the game, aside from defending set pieces, which was actually 10 times worse than that. Rafael Varane should it allow us to play with a high line up the pitch. There's no award for this. And I think he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bruno Fernandes for our player of the year. That's how much of an impact I think Rafael Varane will have. But typically, you don't really see it go to centre-backs. I know it can go to defenders. De Gea obviously won it, what, three years in a row? Two, three years in a row? Luke Shaw's won it as well. I'm backing it to go to Bruno Fernandes next year. You let me know who you think will win that in the comments below. But this last one is one I'm really interested to, 
for you to let me know what you think. Who do you think will be our most improved player this year? Because last year, it, it was Luke Shaw. I don't think anybody can argue with that. His upward trajectory after Alex Tellers' arrival was, was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Luke Shaw was incredible for Manchester United last year. And I'm really excited to see what he can do again this year. But I think having Jadon Sancho on the right-hand side is going to make such a a seismic shift to Aaron wan game that I don't think anybody can really is really going to come close to him in terms of his improvement overall. The thing that wan has been missing is, is a partner on the right wing. Somebody up in front of him that he knows is going to play like the same way every single week. Sometimes it's Dan James there. Sometimes it's inexplicably being Marcus Rashford there or Mason Greenwood there. And all of them play differently. And therefore, wan never really knows when to go on the front foot, when to when to fall back, when to pass for a quick one-two, because the player changes every week, and it makes it very difficult for him to build a, an attacking pattern. And it's it's a criticism of his game. Wan-Bissaka's attacking intent isn't as good as his defensive qualities, and he is is easily the best one-on-one -on -one defender at right back that Manchester United have got, and arguably in the Premier League as well. Actually, not arguably, he is the best one-on-one -on -one defender. But going forward, he's certainly getting more assists, but we just need more of an attacking overall threat from him. And that's why I think that he's going to be our most improved player this year because of Jadon Sancho's presence on the right wing every single week. I think just just watch out for wan Saka for me. I think he's going to be our most improved. You could, I, I also think that Fred's going to play a lot better if you don't play in the midfield pivot too often. He's more of a box-to-box -box player. So is McTominay. Both of them are better in a more central midfield role rather than a defensive midfield holding pivot role. So I think you could see improvements from Fred. And there's plenty of others you can make. Henderson, I expect we'll see improvements from this season, whether or not he plays in goal. You let me know what you think about your actual predictions for Manchester United season. So I've gone second in the Premier League. I stand by that. I don't think City will really let go. And it all, it all depends on the fast start. If United can get a fast start, beat Leeds, get a few wins under our belt, maybe City can wobble. We want to be on top of the pile as much as possible this year because we need that mentality brought into our team that we are capable of playing and winning and going to the top of the league and coping with that pressure. Because we didn't cope with that pressure under Solskjaer last year. Our asses fell out as soon as we went top. And then it all just went wrong. But I'm going second in the Premier League. I'm going quarterfinals in the Champions League. I think United will get out of the group stage. I mean, it, obviously, it depends on who the draw is. And that could obviously be difficult. But I would back United to get out of the group stage this year. I don't think we'll have the same mistakes as last season. Was it the Leipzig one? That was a painful one. And it was what? Oh, geez. Now I'm remembering. Oh, why, why did I think about it, man? This makes me sad. Was it Istanbul? Basak Shir with that goal, that lobbed ball over Matic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll do, we, we certainly can't do any worse than that. So I think United will get to the quarterfinals. I think maybe we'll come, bit, come boo, become a little bit unstuck towards quarterfinal stage. That's why I'm backing us to go there. Maybe we, I'd love to be surprised and I can't wait to come back here in May when we've won the Champions League and point out how much of a dick I've been. I'd love to do that. Don't think I will, but I'm backing us to go to the quarters. I'm backing us to win the league and FA Cup. I think that's where we're going to get some real success this season in the cup competitions. Sure, it's not what we want exactly it's not the Premier League or the Champions League but the Premier League City are so far ahead that it's about really reeling that gap in and making sure that coming towards April time we are properly in with a title push still and we're not just watching City or Liverpool or Chelsea canter to the Premier League title that's going to be where the improvement comes this year I think the gap's going to be slightly too big for us to overturn it but at the same time, sign a defensive midfielder, maybe I'll be wrong there too. Now, I'm going to go top scorer for Bruno. I'm going top assists for Sancho with Bruno Player of the Year. And I'm back in wan to be our most improved player. So there's plenty of predictions. Whoa. Plenty of predictions in there in terms of where we'll finish in the competitions and predictions from the individual bases. Are there any other predictions you'd like me to make? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, throughout this entire video and every video, on United People's TV. Make sure you drop a like on it and make sure you leave me your predictions in the comments. I want to know where you think we'll finish in the league, the Champions League, the cup competitions, top scorer, top assist, most improved player of the year. You let me know everything in the comments below, but we are only a few days away from the game against Leeds. I'm going to have my predicted starting 11 for that game out on Thursday, so make sure you check that video out. Make sure you drop a like on this video too, but the Premier League is nearly back. The whole season's nearly back and it all kicks off against Leeds. So make sure you leave your predictions in the comments below on this video. Drop a like and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Until next time, take it easy.